Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking, finally making a video on the latest Alamo build. Uh, in case you guys have not seen some of the videos leading up to it, or I think on the last video I, I kind of teased it and showed you the whole completion, but it was a build that kind of started a few months ago and it finally got built up. Uh, so we'll just kind of run over it all. Uh, so I ended up purchasing the chassis first. I didn't really know I wanted a new rifle, but I was on eBay and I saw the Accuracy International chassis system 2.0, which is this one with the thumb hole and the folding stock on it and everything like that. So really, really iconic stock. Uh, so initially, I mean, they're really hard to find as well because they stopped making it, but it's so iconic. So whenever I find one available, I'll try to buy it. <laughs> now, well, I'm good now, I have two. But anyway, I saw this on eBay and I thought, well, for that price, it was like listed for like a thousand, I think, or, but then like it bid up to about like 1,100. And I think that's still a fair price with the 10 round uh, uh, AICS mag as well. So I bought it and I thought I'll just build into it later. Well, then I had it laying around and I thought, well, I kind of want something now. So I contacted, I contacted uh, Alamo Precision Rifles because I was really happy with what they did with the 6.5 Creedmoor build. And so I knew I wanted this from the 308 just to be different. And so uh, I contacted them about putting together a barreled action. So everything but the chassis. And so that is what we ended up going with. So Alamo Precision Rifles hooked me up with this um, for, I'm trying to think of the price, or just over two grand, but it's very much so worth it. What makes it worth that money? Uh, it is mainly right here, the action. This action alone is from a different company. This is the Curtis Custom Axiom. The Axiom is the model of it. Uh, they're out of Texas as well. Um, this is a Bartlane uh, heavy Palma barrel, uh, which is a really thick contour, heavy barrel. So that way, you know, it you could shoot more strings of fire and it's not gonna throw off the shot with overheating and everything like that. So, and also it's, it's a heavy build. And I don't care because it's gonna be bench rest shooting for the most part with me. These uh, actions come standard with the 20 MOA rail. So that was great. And a trigger tech trigger was added on later as well. So all said and done, it was just over 2000 for that drop in part, but it has been shooting like a tack driver. So I'm absolutely happy. And if I'm already investing in like a world-class chassis, I might as well get a world-class barrel and trigger and action setup and all that. But this is a three lugs Remington 700 action. Super, super silky smooth. Loading up new rounds feels like like easy. Um, anyway, so all good components there. So I figured I'd do another great scope. And this is the second scope I have of this exact model. I've talked about it plenty of times before, so I'll make it brief. It's a Steiner T5 XI 5 to 25 by 56 with the SCR reticle. I paid $1,800 for this one, but I checked Amazon recently and it's now 14 something. It's like $1,480, something like that. So they, uh, they're on big time sale right now. If you're in the market for precision scope, uh, that's one to get right now for a really good price. I'll put the link in the description. I also got some Seekins 34 millimeter rings on there. Uh, bipod, I'll probably get like an actual Harris later on, but it's got like some one of those no names for now. And then an AccuShot monopod, which is nice for having a stable shot in the rear. And these are really nice. You can adjust it any kinds of way. You can uh, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy, or press this button and kind of rapid deploy uh, all the way out. So that's kind of nice. That's about $100 just for that little piece as well on Amazon. But uh, anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, you can always resort to folding it and using a sandbag. Sometimes I'll do that as well. So yeah, it's a pretty slick build and thankfully it actually shoots accordingly as we're gonna show today. So the plan for today, we're at about 100 yards right here. We have steel targets. We have just an array of different fruits and sodas. We got a two liter, so we'll make Hickok 45 very proud. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna shoot some fruits and all that stuff at about 100-ish yards, just from the prone position um, and from the bench. And then we got the hog saddle where we can shoot off the tripod. Uh, so we'll do some of that. And then we'll push out way down there to the field, probably try to get about 300, 350-ish yards. Uh, and I got the zoom camera as well, so we can kind of get some crosshair looks, uh, scope cam looks. So that'll be kind of fun. Real quick, I'd have mentioned as well that for the whole video today, we're gonna be using the same ammunition. This is really sweet stuff. This is Federal Gold Medal Match Sierra Match King, 175 grain. Because this is, I also forgot to mention as well, this is a 26 inch barrel with the one in 10 twist. So 175s fly out of there very, very nicely. Um, and you can get this stuff from ammo.com. So, uh, and also you can save 20 bucks at the moment. So click the link in the description and that will give you a special code for each time you click that link. Special code, save $20 on a purchase of X amount spent uh, plus. But uh, anyway, I checked, they do carry this ammo, 168 and 175 grain. So uh, if you guys want some nice precision loads for your 308 without having to load it yourself, that's really, really great factory ammo. Also, actually uh, off subject, but uh, of ammo, but back to the rifle, I forgot to mention the AAC break I got on there. I just got word from AAC and my suppressor I believe is done and they'll be shipping out pretty soon. So probably next Thursday, Friday, I'll have it. And then this thing will be suppressed and that'll be a really sweet build. And I'll bring you guys more videos with the suppressed rifles. All right, 
that's enough of all of that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get shooting at 100 yards, set up some fruit and some steel targets, and see what we can do. All right, you ready, Ian? Mm-hmm. Go for that clay pigeon. Oh wow. That was like pink. I didn't even see it. Oh no, that was cool. No, that went right through. Those are satisfying. Good targets for a quarter. Hmm? Good targets for a quarter. Yeah. Cool. Well, I just feel like I'm wasting ammo at 100 yards. All right, before we push back to like 300 or so yards, whatever it is, we'll find out when we get there. One more thing I want to do at, at like 80-ish yards or so is reintroduce the hog saddle. You guys may have seen this on the video with the uh, other Accuracy International chassis, the 16-inch barreled version. That was the backpack sniper rifle video I did. But yeah, this is just a normal tripod, a tripod head with a ball. Uh, but then this is the pig or hog saddle. Uh, I got it on like Amazon for like 150 or so dollars. And this allows you to clamp a gun on there uh, which is pretty cool if, in case you guys haven't seen this before so you can loosen this and position it however you'd like so that makes things pretty darn easy for shooting at like different positions so you're not prone or like bench rest shooting or nothing like that so you just loosen this when it's on the ball head you can just go ahead and rotate it exactly where you want to be so like i said this isn't too far of range but it'll be fun nonetheless So yeah, there you go. And it clamps on to, I mean, it gets really, really wide. So you could put like any kind of action or, or bolt action for the most part that I've uh, ever tried it on. But so yeah, that's pretty cool. So that's enough of the close range stuff. We'll probably set up all the fruit and all that stuff and push back to 300 or so and get to that. All right, so we backed up to about 400 yards. I have to shoot from inside my truck because I wanted to shoot out the bed, but it is so damn hot that I'm just burning my knees and elbows. So got to shoot from the inside now that my legs are hanging out the truck. But hey, whatever works. Uh, so we are backed out to about 400 yards. I ran it through the ballistic calculator and should be 2.2 mils at the moment. Let's go ahead and load it up. And I've got the other camera zoomed in on some of the steel targets. So let's see if this zero is right. Cause like I said, I'm using like some kind of golf range finder with GPS. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'm gonna go for some big metal targets first just to make sure that we're decently on. there. All right, so not gonna lie, struggled a little bit out to 400 yards because I think it was actually more than 400 yards. That's just what happens when you trust a GPS app versus a laser range finder, which I would still need. But anyway, we got on target eventually, but it was on right away for the larger metal targets. And then I shot the two liter on the last one. And so anyway, but 400 yards is actually like super capable with this. Uh, I wanna do a video at Best of the West. And I always say this, it's a lot easier shooting under nice cover bench rest and all that stuff when you know the set ranges and your ballistic calculator is telling you the truth. So that's really easy. So I'm gonna do a video with this shooting between 250, 500, 750, and 1,000 yards, and I think it's gonna be super, super capable the way this thing's set up. But this was kind of the field test 400-ish. It was probably more like 430, 440-ish, maybe even more. Just I'll have to check the ballistic calculator. I was at more mils than it said uh, for 400, so it must have been a little bit more. But nonetheless, this was just to serve as a kind of introduction into the rifle. You guys kind of saw how it functions. Uh, and so, yeah, not necessarily a full review, but just kind of the components on it. But I will make more videos with this, especially when the suppressor comes in. This thing's gonna be a wicked, wicked uh, setup. Uh, but yeah, just from my short experience with it, shooting 100 yard groups, it shoots like within the same hole. I'll probably show some pictures of that now. 
that I've shot in the past. But yeah, really, really sharp tack driver. Uh, but I want to show more of that at long range on a future video. But that's going to do it for this one. Real quick, though, again, um, the products that I mentioned that you can find in the link in the description, go ahead, check that. That's going to be even the bipod, the uh, the scope, the rings, the uh, the monopod, and all that good stuff. And also, of course, ammo.com um, for the ammo I was using here. And also some 357 Magnum. And anyway, we have so many soda cans here that we haven't shot. So we got the 357 Magnum. Haven't shot this in a while. So uh, we'll just go ahead and end the video, shoot some of that. Let's see if I can hit these today. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> you got a little Finger. ornament there. Get that, uh, get a cantaloupe or something. You got the top of it. <laughs> I saw that. Yes. I think that might've been the last one. Let's do a flinch test. All right, let's get that other cantaloupe. Watermelon. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, more videos in the future, especially when that suppressor is in, which I believe it will be very shortly. But that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.